All right, folks, in this video going to take our Eris Ultra and get it ready for uh, 14 chin. So this previously had a 9912900KS in it. Uh, it's had a 13 chin in it, but uh, it has not had the BIOS updated in, I'm thinking, at least six months. So we're going to get this thing ready. Now, we're going to use the uh, BIOS flashback button, which is over here. There are two buttons on this. Um, you got the one for the CMOS and then this one. So this is the one we want. Let me find something to put under this. All right. So we're not uh, scratching up the countertop or potentially doing other stuff to the motherboard, right? All right. So a couple things we got to do to get this ready. Um, one, we're going to use the BIOS flashback button, so that means installing a power supply. All right, so let me go find a power supply. All right, so power supply, I put that in. Eventually, we'll plug it in. Now, you know, directions are kind of iffy, we'll say, with the different companies. Uh, we know that we need our 24-pin power connector. This powers up the, the motherboard. Uh, the fact we don't have a CPU in here makes me pretty much believe you don't need the CPU power connector, but... Uh, some of the directions appear to state that you need it, so we'll just go ahead and assemble this. Now, uh, this guy is pretty much uh, ready to go. We've got to get our BIOS file, and hopefully I won't forget, but we will have to rename the BIOS file. Uh, we also need to remember there is a certain... USB that that is going to go into. And you can see it right there. So it's going to be this bottom one. All right. I also have to be careful because I haven't uh, tightened that down either, right? So, all right, let's go find our BIOS file. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this USB drive in. Gigastone. I think it's 256, you know, or 128. One of those. But, um, USB 2.0, and, you know, we'll show the uh, the formatting. That's really the most important thing about this thumb drive. All right, so let's go in here and look for Eris Ultra Z690. And... We should have been in here previously. Um, oh, just so you know, our thumb drive, um, we ended up putting the file on the root directory, which is basically right here. Um, if you put it inside of one of these folders, it's not at the root directory, right? So um, one nice thing, not completely necessary, is to have a completely blank USB uh, that is formatted to FAT32, all right? Now, in this case, I don't have that. Where the benefit of not having files on there is, is sometimes easier to find. And if you're like me and you're doing a bunch of BIOS updates with different computers, you don't want to get your BIOS files mixed up, all right? Okay, back to this. So you search for it. You want to go to this support, not the one up here, all right? So click on that. And then it's for gigabyte, it goes right to downloads. So we're going to click here for BIOS and we want to grab the newest, right? So you see September 22nd, 2023, these are uh, the older ones going down. Now, what were we looking for here, folks? Um, should have happened in June or July. There it is right there. Okay, so this is what... 
got everything going in the right direction for 14th gen, okay? Um, starting with this BIOS, this is the point where it became 14th gen compatible. But like I said, we want the newest. So let's hit download. And go to this folder. We're going to extract all. Um, so here's the BIOS file, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put it on our thumb drive. Now, folks, there's one other thing you need to do, and that's rename this. I can sit here and watch one of my videos and remember the exact verbiage, but uh, let's see if we can find it. Should be under manual. And unique features, okay? You want the English one right there. Inside here somewhere, it will tell you what to rename this file to. I promise I'm not trying to drag this video out any longer. Um, there it is right there. Da -da -da -da. So we're just going to copy. We don't want that other period, right? That's the end of the sentence. We're going to just copy this. Go over here. Click rename. We're going to rename the whole thing. And now I'm going to control V paste. Um, so we got extra letters here. All right. So do I want to change the file name, blah, blah, blah. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, I am sure. All right. So now we have our file. Um, you know, in case you wanted to see the directions. So what's going to happen is I'm going to energize this thing by turning on the power supply with the thumb drive in there. Okay. And then we will hit that BIOS flashback button, okay? Or they call it Q Flash Plus here. And it's going to blink for six to eight minutes. And that's it, folks. Uh, when it's done, we should be good to go. We'll do our installation after that. All right, folks. So I must warn you before you do this, make sure the weather's good. Right now, it's actually kind of crappy outside. Maybe it'd be a better day um, to do this when the weather's more pleasant. If you have possibly a hurricane, snowstorm, whatever, um, try and you know wait till it would seem that the power is going to be more consistent. If your lights are flickering, that's a bad thing. If you have a uh, UPS uninterruptible power supply, uh, that might be a nice thing to have. I have uh, over there all those batteries, so potentially we could plug one of those in. All right, so we're going to go ahead and plug this into the wall. I'm not going to show that step um, just because I think you guys know how to do that, right? But there's the plug. It's getting plugged in now, okay? Um, now we want to make sure that this guy is on. And it's down, so that's on. Now this motherboard, you can see there's a red light there. Um, so we are, it's definitely got power. So all we want to do now is hit that button and you can see the light over there. Now it's blinking. And that should take six to eight minutes, folks. Oh, I'd love to stop recording but the reality is some of you um, might want to actually see how long this takes but this is uh, this is basically part one of this uh, video series getting ready for 14 gen which of course means a uh, BIOS update uh, the next video I'll do the actual installation uh, we'll end up unplugging the power supply Taking the USB out, but uh, this is one of my better motherboards. I haven't 
think it's an MSI. I can't remember the exact model, but between that one and this one, they're my, my two best motherboards. So hence why it's getting what's probably my, maybe my first or second best CPU. Remains to be seen if this will be better than the i9 uh, 13900KF. Um, I think they're going to be close, but this CPU definitely should be better or is better than the i9 12900KF and uh, slightly better probably than the i9 12900KS that I have, which was in here previously. So it's kind of exciting. You know, at this point it's like, well, do I keep these both 12 gens? Do I get rid of the i9 12900 KF and keep the KS? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure, folks, what I want to do there. Kind of uh, one of those situations. We have, um, what is it, three Z690 motherboards and one Z790 at this point. Um, got a crap ton of other 600 series motherboards. I think I've sold off all my other 700s. So while that's going, I'm going to go look at that. Yeah, we have a Aris Z690M ITX motherboard as well. And then I have an MSI Pro Z690-A DDR4. And then we've got at least two H610Ms. So, or one, maybe one and one uh, uh, ITX one. But, yeah, so I've got a, I got a bunch of motherboards to update. What I really need to do is update them and then dump them off on eBay as 14th uh, gen ready. Um, you don't see a whole lot of people advertising that, but it's a good way to get, you know, get closer to uh, what the new price is when you can tell people that, hey, not only did I barely use this, but it is also got the, um, it's probably the only one on there that's got that BIOS so that you can right out of the box run 14 gen. So yeah, maybe I get motivated this weekend. Crank some shit out. I know some people are super excited about seeing how this thing does gaming. This is the one one of the channels, folks, that you can actually, I think, get a better idea of what hardware was used. Like people can type all they want down in the description, but on this channel, at least you're actually going to see the 14th gen go into this motherboard you'll see the CPU cooler that I end up using you'll see um, the whole yeah the whole installation what the rest of the hardware looks like this won't be in a case it'll be uh, looking similar to the way it is right now right outside of a motherboard but it's gonna have all those other parts um, plenty of videos showing all the graphics cards that I have whether it be unboxings or just, hey, here's my whole graphics card collection. So, you don't get that on all the other channels, folks. Um, RAM, you know, I've unboxed every single stick of RAM I here have on the channel. Every motherboard's been unboxed. Every motherboard has had a BIOS update done on the channel. I think every power supply I have has been unboxed on the channel. Every case has been unboxed on this channel. So the reality is, uh, there is no reason to doubt the uh, the hardware that yours truly has, um, because you can you can see it in another video. And usually I'll do the gaming videos, and then I'll um, I'll switch out graphics cards. Uh, somewhere in here we're gonna we're gonna do benchmarks. We'll do Cinebench R20, R23, 2024. Um, then I will probably change out the CPU coolers. So we'll do more 
bench marks there. It's all going to lead to, uh, what is it, my liquid, Arctic liquid or whatever the hell that thing's called, uh, 420 AIO. Um, that's going to be the top dog and probably give the best performance numbers. All right, folks, so this thing is freaking done. Um, I don't know how many minutes that took. I didn't time it. But uh, what should happen now is this thing ought to shut off, all right? So don't do nothing until either that light turns off or uh, this shuts down. But most likely, we're golden. And we'll just hang here for a moment. I wish I could get them both. Maybe I can get them both in the shot so you can see. I just heard the power supply shut off. That's good. That light's off. Not going to turn back on. All right. So this is awesome news, folks. Um, she is ready for installation. So I'm going to shut my power supply off. Take my thumb drive out. I'm going to unplug our CPU power connector and then our 24 pin power connector. Let me get that damn thing out of here. And so, oh, and then we'll unplug the power supply from the wall. So, that means, folks, this thing is ready for the next step. Thanks for checking this video out. Please like, please subscribe.